How many times in the last few months and last year have you said, it's just temporary. As soon as this is over, then I can. I hear that all the time. And I'm hearing it more and more. I'm talking to more and more women who are taking care of um, other family members, you know, parents or aunts, uncles, and then they're also still juggling their regular daily ju duties. Plus they're doing this weird hybrid work at home, not work at home thing. And now it seems like the work day never ends. seems like once COVID hit and we started answering our phones from home, all of a sudden there were no office hours. And so they're grinding, they're getting through it. They're trying to just talk themselves into it. The problem is, is that the temporary becomes the permanent or the temporary runs into another temporary issue. And there's the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. How do you know when it's time to pause? How do you know when it's time to pump the brakes and slow the grind? Sometimes it can be hard, especially for those of us who are overachiever type A, go, go, go girls, right? We want to keep doing the thing and we keep punching the clock and making the widgets and doing all the things and taking a break doesn't feel productive. It feels like a waste of time. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that it's a waste of time to take a break. The problem is, is it's actually the opposite. It's a bigger waste of time to keep going because you're not making good decisions. You're burned out. You're exhausted. You can't do you until you give yourself a break. You know, grinding is one of those things that we love and hate, right? We talk about the daily grind with some pride because we're hard workers and we can get through anything and we can, you know, keep chugging along until we get the goal. But then we also talk about it, you know, with frustration because it just is wearing you down. And the difference there is that being frustrated because what you're doing, it feels like it's not getting you anywhere and you're working so hard, you're doing all the right things, eating the right food, doing the right exercises, having the right conversations, but it's not working. That frustration is good because it means you're still in the game. It means you still want to get to the goal. When it becomes a negative thing is when it turns from frustration to burnout. When you're, you've been grinding for so long that you just can't anymore. Taking a break is as important as grinding. It's part of the journey, the journey to get healthier, the journey to a better career, the journey to being a great parent or a great marriage, right? You have to, you have to take a breath. <laughs> you have to give yourself space and you can't keep fighting and saying, it's going to, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. I can get through this. Sometimes you got to admit, you got to throw up the flag and just say, you know what? I need a break. I need a timeout. So I'm going to give you that permission right now and give you permission to take a break, give you permission to waste time and not be productive. One day, see if you can do one and then see if you can do two. And if one whole day is too much, do five minutes, then an hour, give yourself time. If you have to run away to the mountains where there's no phone service, I recommend it. I just did it. It's fabulous, but you got to give yourself a break. And I have a break for you conveniently located in the mountains, but there is cell phone for service at the end of September. I'm hosting a retreat with my friend, Patricia, and we are encouraging everyone to take a moment and pause to get off the hamster wheel, take a deep breath and just be. If you would like to join us, we would love to have you join us. Let me know. I'll get you the information. I'll put the link down below, but it's time, time to pause, time to take a breath, time to relax, time to be you.